Here's how to replace the interior door handle on a Chevy truck. This is a 1995 model, so this whole generation. Um, this is the one that I bought. They claim that it's better than stock, that it's stronger, that this is all metal. So rather than buying the super cheap one, I bought this one, which is still cheap. Link in description if you want one of these. And I also bought a bunch of these door fastener dealies because the plastic on these is so old that whenever you try to get into the door, these things will snap in half. So I just want to proactively have some around. Also using plastic auto body trim tools. These are pretty cheap. Also link in description. You could use a screwdriver or something else too if you don't have these. Roll down the window. All right, so this outer piece needs to come off, this trim piece. All right, so there's a, there's a clip in here that I need to pry down to break it loose. And then I'm gonna pry it forwards with this one. Like that. Then there's more clips on the top and bottom. Like that. And then, that one makes a lot more sense if you look at the back so i'm prying this up this up and this up so there's two bolts right here and they're seven millimeter bolt heads and you just undo them you can pry it up and pull it back might not even i don't even need this tool pry it up and then pull it backwards there's a little hook on the front of it and you just push down on it and pull it loose like that i'm just going to pry it here there's a little clip holding it in and then pull it out door lock there's a little button you push in right here you can push in with the screwdriver there we go all right and then this one i'm going to push in with a screwdriver here and then pull it out like that so i was reduced releasing this little clip all right this top corner piece you can just slide upwards or pull it out sliding it upwards is easier it'll just clip off of the thingy so now the rest of this is just held on by little plastic clips that pop out. So we're going to stick our magical tool in here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. So it's going to sound like you're destroying it. Oh, man. <laughs> and we might be breaking some of these. That's why we brought the extra ones. Muscles. Oh, Use your muscles. brutal. And then it just kind of groove lifted up. Now this light, we could have pried this light off and unplugged it from the front side, but I'd rather just unplug it from the back side once it's open. So we just pull the bulb out like that. So oh, there's an example of a broken trim piece. We'd have to pull that out and then replace it with a new one. So now we're just gonna take all the bolts that hold this interior panel on, all the little, they're seven millimeter, one, two, three, four, five, and then all around it so that we can get this plate to hang forward. So it's little screws all the way around, except for this one big chunk is here in front of the speaker that you got to take out. So we don't need to have to take this whole panel out. We were just trying to get back here. You can see where this rod connects to the door opener and then down below it, down there is where it connects to the lock. Okay, so the, these rods are in, in these little guide clips. So I pop it loose from the guide clip. It gives me a little room to move and move it around. And then there's this guide clip for the lock, which I'm just going to pop it out of to give me a little room. Pop like that. It just pops loose from the old one. And this one's going to pop out like that. All right, so I'm going to put a piece of tape on the back of the rivet back here, just so that when I drill it out, I don't lose it in the door crack. There we go. So I drilled deep enough to get it out, but not deep enough to damage the door. This thing should just slide forward and out. We're going to stick this piece of plastic on the new one. Cut it. Yep. So there we go. The rivet is out, not rattling around in the door. Take my tape off. All right. So the plastic piece comes off like this. Here we can also inspect what broke. Again, this new one claims to have a much stronger handle pure metal handle than stock. So there's where it broke. The handle snapped in half in the middle. All right, so you start with, with the plastic, you slide it on like that, so this is sticking out of the bottom of it, and then you loop it over all the hooks. I put a little grease on the various elements of it to try and keep it quiet and make it last longer. So we're gonna put it into the door, kind of rock it like that. Get it into all its little grooves and then push it backwards like that. Now we'll put the pins back in here. So this one is for the lock. Just push it in. I'm supporting it with my finger when I push it in. It should push in pretty easy. And the one for the door handle goes right in here. 
like that. And then we're gonna put it back in the channels. The one for the lock clips in here. The one for the door handle clips in right here. And then we push it back in. So I'm just putting one bolt in here to hold the door down. Now it's a good idea to see if you can actually open the door. Open it. Lock it. Take it in. Unlock it. Open it. Yep, so we're good. All right, so now we rivet it. Pop. And if you don't have a rivet gun, you can use a nut and a bolt. There is room in the back. Just make sure you lock tight it so it doesn't fall off. Okay, so now we put our big bolt up front. And we put all our little bolts around the top and bottom. All right, if you have any broken pegs, we managed to get out of here with just one broken peg. You just want to pull it out and then replace the new one. Okay, so we're going to hang the top on the top, and then we're going to have to guide all of these pins into their little holes. So it just goes on there like that. That hole. That hole. So for example, this one's not lined up with its hole, so you got to just gently with your fingers make sure they're all lined up with the holes all the way around. Or you'll break them. And then you can kind of progressively from the top start pushing them in. Doing good, doing good. And you would have wanted to remember to plug the light back in. Oh. There we go. That's dusty stuff. There you go. Top one, if you pulled it out, just push it back in. If you slid it off upwards, then just put it on here and slide it down. I prefer the sliding up and down method. Speaker plug is in like that. Mirror adjuster plugs in like that. Whatever the heck this is, plugs in like that. And then the door lock goes like that. Oh, I heard it. Oh, it works. And then the hook in the front goes under here. So you slide it under and then just push it down. They do make new ones of these that you can buy cheap. When you do, when you buy this, you might want to buy one of these also. I didn't, so my truck is ugly. That just pops in there like that. And screw in the two door handle screws. And you're done.